Breaking story coming in from Turkey as Anton Martial's agent is there to obviously see to it that he finalizes a deal for him to either join Fanabachi or any other team down in Turkey. This is really one of the big stories that we'll ever have because yesterday it was really a confusing situation from links um, of Martial to Fanabachi in Turkey to a story coming in through that I was going to hate to reject all those moves. And I'm obviously going to bring you up to speed on how this started and how it has going to hate to end today with an epitome of a very positive story into the mix. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And Anton Martial is one of those players that really promised so much and provided little of that much that we expected for him to obviously provide to the side of Manchester United. But he has been here. He sometimes conquered but what has come out of his career you can best describe it as inconsistency on the best day on him on the pitch he's the best forward in the world because of his talent and everything he puts and everything he puts up is that everything really goes on as to plan 28 27 years of age he's really one of those that never really lived up to the expectations and we thank god for the gift of life the muslims barak laufikum continue to subscribe to this channel so has not missed out on the stories that we do upload in here on a daily and let's go gaggers so we started off with anton Martial, right and fanabachi are currently in talks if if deal is agreed fanabachi will conduct a detailed health screening for anton Martial's due to his injury record so this came in through from Fanabachi Habers, you know, they told us that Anton Martial is really having talks with Fanabachi and Fanabachi is really willing to give him a go to city that everything really goes on as to plan of Man United. And if everything goes on as to plan, Martial will obviously go to the side of Fanabachi, but on one condition that he has to pass the medical test. That is it. So that's a story coming in through from Turkey. And from Fanabachi that obviously came in through and obviously got us excited because the fact is we want Anton Martial out. United needs another striker that can be readily available. And his unavailability is really affecting the club of Man United to an extent that in a game you're going to play against Nottingham Forest. When Rasmus Hoyland is injured and Martial is injured, he had no role to play. And Marcus Rashford led the line and hence we missed out onto that focal point effect that these two will obviously give us into these beautiful games then we had another story coming in from talk sport that anton martial has been told he can leave man united this month however manchester knows he will not be able to command the 250,000 k a week salary that he earns at the club of man united once he becomes a free agent so he could well opt to sit on to the final few months of his deal now this was another story that was written by the talk sport confirming to us that maybe there is another consideration altogether and that consideration altogether was all about anton martial maybe running his contract down and becoming a free agent in the summer something that will be so greedy of him and not are being so much out, outward outward looking because if you're a 28 year player as anton martial you have a lot to do to revive your career you know look at ikadi he went to turkey and he's scoring in goals and he has revived interest in big clubs look at real madrid <laughs> they are interested into the player so that is it and um then after the talk sport went ahead to obviously tell us that the uncertainty over Anton Martial's future was one of the reasons United did not follow up their initial interest in Timo Werner. If that was really the case, then it went ahead to obviously burn our fingers. It burnt our fingers. And why did it have to burn our fingers? Because we had to obviously go in for another player. Because we knew that this guy was leaving. We knew he was leaving. And... Eric Ten Hag gave him a chance last season and he couldn't keep himself fit. One of the factors we went ahead to affect us as the club of Man United. So, Timo Werner has gone to Tottenham Hotspur on loan with an option to buy. And if at all he, he performs with flying colors, we'll be here saying we wish United would have gone ahead for him. But for me, as I told you, we are having enough squad to obviously see to it that we really get ourselves going into 
the last six months of the season unless otherwise Martial leaves then that will call in for us to get in the center forward and I think that has to be a Girassi who is now playing at the African Cup of Nations that is starting today you know in Ivory Coast and uh, I think tomorrow tomorrow I have to do a video of the African Cup of Nations and my predictions who do I think is gonna lift it because I think the best team in Africa is Morocco. <laughs> that is it. They're having talented players and trust me, Morocco, Algeria and Egypt are the biggest contenders. And the only team that can stand in there, I think, is only Senegal. I'm going to come in through and really show you what I think about that. Um, then we got another story from the Elise blue that means it was coming in from france that marshall wants to be in the french national team for the euros 2024 so he wants to sign for a club in europe where he will play for the next month marshall has rejected all offers from saudi arabia so far the next 24 hours are very important for fanabach so that's a story that really followed up and they told us that he's really doing that and uh, we really went ahead to understand that for the French national team, I don't think a player that plays for Fanabachi will obviously put there a situation that will obviously take them to where they want to be. When you look at the forwards that France are really having, Nkunku, you know, Olivier Giroud is still there and is going to go to the Euros. They're having um, this, um, um, this guy who missed a sitter in the World Cup final. He plays for PSV. I've forgotten his name but he's tall and very strategic and so i don't think that marshall will find himself into that squad because they're really having some good and upcoming strikers now today morning this is the shocking story that really came up that went ahead to shock everyone and it went ahead to let me know that rokan first wait not to do this video and obviously come up with a very huge and clear source they told us that anton marshall has rejected interest from marseille fanabachi and the saudi pro league and intends to stay and fight for his place in Eric Ten Hag's team. Marshall is on course to leave on a free transfer in the summer. So, this rejection really went ahead, not well down in my head. I said, what exactly is Anton Marshall looking out for? Is he here for the money? Because every week Anton Marshall earns £250,000 a week. That is £1 million a week. That's £1 million a month and six million pounds for the next six months before his contract comes to an end. Remember, United made a decision not to trigger the contract and Eric Ten Hag told us that they are really in negotiations and the only negotiations they're really having are Marshall to take a pay cut. That is it. And he should take a pay cut down to like 150,000 pounds a week. And I think it's not going to go well for him because he believes he should be earning more and maybe Fanabachi are willing to offer him some good amount of money, you know? And let me check here and see. What team pays a lot of money in Turkey? Highest paid player in Turkey league. I want to know who that player is and I see how much they can obviously offer him. So they tell us that uh, the highest paid player in the Turkish league is Mauro Ikadi. Mauro Ikadi um, is earning how much? Close to 200,000 euros a week. So that shows you exactly that Anton Martial can't really exceed that. Maybe otherwise, but I don't see it happening. So they told us that he has gone ahead to reject. And after him rejecting that, it really happened to obviously frustrate me and say, what exactly is this boy really looking at? But this evening, we've gotten a very beautiful story coming in through from... Yakosobonglu from Turkey that the guy who manages or who acts as the agent of Anton Marcia known as Felipe Lamboli came to Turkey. So if his representative is in Turkey that means there are high hopes of him leaving Man United and go to Turkey on a very small fee altogether for the biggest that we all want to get. If you can get in like 10 million euros for Anton Martial, that will be okay. That will be okay because 10 million euros, you can use it to obviously get in a Girassi, you know, because Girassi is for 17. For Sancho, we've gone ahead to get in like 4 million euros, 
you know um donny van der bink there is a little loan fee that was really paid in um honey boy is leaving um Pelespi is leaving so when you add up all that money coming in from those loan proposals and loan fees we can get ourselves in a better position to say that anton martial sorry that we get in a striker to obviously lead the line because i don't want to see marcus Rashford lead our line you know i want another striker and Giresi for me is the guy is the guy you know people are not going to hate to understand one thing about money right that amid is every striker that we're going to hate to get during the Alex ferguson era i think we were hinting for an elite striker in the names of robin van Persie because i remember andeko came in through i think was playing for blackburn dry tioko was not playing for an elite team was he playing at Aston Villa? Uh, Ole Gunnar Sosha, they got him way far from Norway. Teddy Shellingham, I think they got him from Tottenham Hotspur. So, when you talk about world-class strikers, it all starts with strikers like Robin Van Persie. The Wayne Rooney's were good and he groomed them into better players. The other guy that he went ahead obviously bringing through that was good. Um, Diego Folan Colanzo, I don't think he was a proven striker. You know, um, which other striker came? Dimitar Babatov, Louis Saha. They are good, but not world class strikers. And I really pity everyone who says that Giras is not the striker we need. Let me school you. Louis Saha, Dimitar Babatov, we are not world class strikers. They're just good players. You know, they are not proven because by then the proven strikers were that Awu Gonzalez, um, there was um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Samuel Eto, um, Diego Milito, there was Adriano. Um, those were the proven strikers. By the time we brought in, um, by the time we brought in, by the time United brought in Louis Saha and Dimita Babatov. Mike Owen came in through 2010, you know, old but proven, he get, but he was on his decline. And all these other strikers we're going to have to get in through the really world class have come in through in their late 30s. For example, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Falcao, um, the other guy was um, Cavani, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, all those were in their late 30s. And we haven't gone ahead to try out a striker in his mid 20s to come in through and obviously play for the club of man united and for us Maswayland, it was a move in the right direction and i think Girassi will obviously do us a very good favor if at all we can gather the money to see to it that we really keep going and really win all these favors so guys thank you very much for watching to tell me thoughts about anton Martial's agent in turkey to accomplish his move to fanabachi i welcome in the comment section below would you let him go or you would want to keep him around you know would you let him go and not bring in a replacement or you let him go and bring in another striker. There is even, is it Terami who plays for FC Porto? So there are very many other strikers that we are really looking at. But don't forget that we might end up in a situation of getting in an old striker like a vague host, you know, to come in through and obviously compliment Rasmus Hoyland's work at the club of Man United. I sign out for now. See you later. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David is my name and good night. Those going to bed and the Muslims Baraklau Fikum are five. Fingers out everyone watching in through the Rokani Media Football. I love you, my mate.